Aloha. Uh, today I wanted to do a quick follow up to the Pizzagate stuff and take it even a step even further into my perspectives of the New Age agenda uh, and the, the whole disclosure agenda and everything that's on the outskirts of this Pizzagate stuff outside of the pedophile ring, which is the bad guy system and um, expand upon the good guy system because this is an obvious implosion program and in order to sell in a new agenda they have to sell they have to destroy and implode the old old agenda so if you have bad guys you have to have good guys and who are the good guys on the scene so this is not to take away from any of the pedophile stuff that's out there uh, it's just not new to me and I want to share information to expand upon the next agenda knowing that this is this is not a little this is not a one story line it's never linear like when you're playing chess and I mentioned this in a lot of previous videos this is chess this is not checkers so if something goes viral something gets out there and so-called released and it gets shared so often then and it's connected to so many big wigs and so many big storylines then you have to understand that it's not linear it's not the movie plot of the story that you're seeing in each scene it's how the various storylines have been put together over time and how they're connecting to the stories that have been existing been created over time to project the fabricated and filtered future that will still remain uh, the haves and the have that the haves and the have not program will still remain so this whole disclosure stuff that's being shared with all this stuff uh, within the new age community and so on and so forth is like I said in previous videos it's never to nothing will ever be revealed that will remove the so-called power of the system itself they will not tell you, the so-called they will not tell you the information that you need to know to empower yourself. The only information that will be revealed is the information that will be, that can be filtered to be in control of the storyline to steal time. That's what this whole thing is. So all this stuff about the same thing goes with politics that I mentioned in previous videos before is that politics is to steal time. They're buying any time you vote and believe that you're voting that the system actually is a voting process and that they don't choose and pick and choose these presidents and that storyline decades beforehand. You still believe in that. You're still believing in the checker game. This is chess. And then just like that, that storyline is to steal time from the individual and the masses, from the individual who believes they are Democrat or they are Republican and that their vote counts and that their storyline within this democracy, this is not a democracy. This is an enslavement program. For people who believe that this stuff is still working the way the forefathers plan, and if you still believe in the forefathers, that's another, that's another layer of mind control program that is intended with the entire design of this true democracy and colonizing the entire earth plane is for the benefit of all the people it's bullshit all this forefathers americanism americana constitution bullshit it ain't got nothing to do with humanity it's about enslavement and control that's the design that's been the design of this system from your so-called forefathers and so on and so forth the way this system is imploding is based upon the information that gets shared and how many people get expand the storyline to go beyond the chess the checker game and go into seeing how these chess pieces are placed on the board. Pizza Gate is a chess piece on the board and the reason why I'm not going into the whole like, oh, the emails and the, 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 the secret coding and all that shit, because I have not heard about this pedophile shit back when they when the Franklin, the, uh, the Franklin scandal hit. And I heard about that some years ago. And that was going on in reference to stuff that had been going on for decades.
pedophile stuff in DC in the wild. So if you're still looking at Pizzagate stuff and you ain't looked into the Franklin sc scandal, thinking that this shit is just new, still thinking that this is just like a new thing, no, this been going on for a while. Everything within the so-called power powers that be system is based upon filtering information, holding information back. This is why technology can't be released. This is why uh, the secret space program and all that stuff exists. This is why all these programs exist to keep the people in a codependent vibration on the government itself. And if they withhold your access to basic human needs through the fiat currency system, through sickness and disease, through manipulation, mind control manipulation of your, your very connection to your spirit, soul, mind, and body. Through manipulating you into the monkey evolution program and the NASA program and the gravity and all these theories and the globe model programming and the dinosaur manipulation. All these storylines exist to hold each other up. And they exist in your subconscious mind and your conscious mind. Your conscious mind is dumbed down by the university system to not focus or think about any of this stuff or even challenge yourself to even go into any of this stuff because ultimately you really know at the essence that this is full of shit. But on the other hand, your subconscious is manipulated to believe that this whole thing is very complex. That like your systems... The, 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 your relationship to nature, your relationship to time, your relationship to each other, your culture, your people, your history, to the way the basic connections on this earth plane exist, your connections to the sun and the moon, the air, the earth elements, the, the, the ethers, all this stuff has been understood by the ancient cultures. This is why history has to be it has to be it has to start at a particular time frame so the so-called history of today based upon the new age agenda the disclosure agenda the space program agenda all this shit is post columbian history nothing starts everything that the, that the so-called powers that be are talking about today and relate to today all starts right at the Colombian era. You will never hear anything post pre-Columbian era history because you will start going into the indigenous and aboriginal stories which the system of today has demonized as primitive and savage. This is why they can't tell you shit about the pyramids in Giza. They can't tell you anything about Machu Picchu and the, and the stone structures and the Inca and the Maya and the Olmec and the Aztec and the Native Americans, the Hopi. The, they can't tell you about commission hieroglyphics they can't tell you about all this information because it will cut the legs out of the mind control program that is being sold to you as new they can only sell you some new shit if they have demonized and disconnect you from that which is old now that i set up this whole kind of framework for where i'm going with this because i want to keep this video short I wanted to share with you something that uh, I've been aware of for some time now, being that I started off my journey or whatever researching information on 9-11, the so-called conspiracy theories, which are actually conspiracy facts. These are, these are actual storylines that exist that are just being orchestrated to be released at particular times to tell a particular story that benefit the the mind control program for the haves so that the have nots will be soaking for information and be begging for some kind of information to be released by the so-called powers that be not to mention the fact that you you maintain control. So this is why you have people who talk about this stuff. People who like Alex Jones is kind of talking about Pizzagate. Doesn't really want to go into it. TYT ain't saying shit about it. The mainstream media ain't saying nothing about it. A whole bunch of people are disregarding this information existing. And a whole bunch of other people 
are going deep into it. But when you go deep into it, a lot of people get hung up within the storyline itself, within the chapter that is entitled Pizzagate. It's very, it's very like, uh, it's got a bow on it. This is why people are like, oh, it's a hoax and all this other shit. That's just fucking lazy. There's pedophile shit. If there's pedophile shit going on in the Vatican and, and, and throughout the church, better believe it's going on in the government. And it's not new. It's been happening from Bohemian Grove and all this other shit that's been going on behind the scenes and all this, this, uh, this, this is actual alchemy. That these individuals are tapped into because they have separated the ultimately this story is about separation from spirit, locking you into the physical reality, worshiping the physical nature of reality. This is why the university system is inherently atheist and they put up this fight, this fake fight between science and religion so they can throw the spirit baby out with the bathwater of that fight. That's the design as a whole. And same thing goes with this Pizzagate shit. And when they talk about all this Pizzagate stuff, you get all that. It's, it's to trigger your emotions, to trigger you to get locked into the storyline that gets sold to you, that gets revealed to you. So if storylines are being revealed to you, that's a different energy than you researching and unveiling the storyline yourself. Because if you start unveiling the storylines that you are intuitively attracted to unveiling, then you will start reconnecting to deeper layers of energies that exist outside of the mind control program. This is why these trending videos and hashtags and storylines are, are being promoted on a regular basis every day now. And this is why you got the Trump distraction up there. This is why he's like an outsider. So this whole system can implode around him. They're not outsiders. These are all buddies. These are all best friends. This is all one crew. It's one gang. And you're not a part of that shit. You're, you're, you're just an outsider. A, a piece of a number. Your legal name. Your, your, your... Your birth certificate is just a number. You're just a catalog. Just basically just like soldiers are numbers for the military. The civilians are numbers for the Federal Reserve Fiat Currency Colonial Mind Control Program. They don't give one shit about you. In fact, you're worth your 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 worth. You are monetized with your birth certificate and you're monetized with your death certificate and everything in between your birth certificate and your death certificate is enslavement you work for the system this is why the fiat currency is tied directly into your human resources it's about control and the way they want to manipulate that control to expand is to sell you some doggy treats which is this transhumanism agenda, this secret space program agenda, this information, so-called secret information and releasing information to connect you with your star uh, people, your aliens and all this other stuff. And there's always going to be mo more than one side. You have the positive side, so-called positive side of information of the new age and connecting with the aliens, which is which is what the people are doing on their own in the new age, so-called new age community. And then you have the so-called false flag stuff that is being promoted even further. And this is why I have this video on here. I didn't even have to watch the rest of it because I already know where he's coming from because I've seen many, many hours of Stephen Greer talking his shit in the past. And I'll get into this in a second. But he's just basically saying the same thing that he's been saying for so long. And then now it's amplified into, oh, well, now it's going to be a, a false flag. And now that I know that this is what this is all, it's all making sense to me now with this Kesha Foundation stuff that is directly linked to um, Pizzagate and the implosion, the controlled demolition of this story as a whole. And I just wanted to share this information, this thread of information, because this is how I'm seeing it. And I've been seeing it for a while now. And I know other people feel where I'm coming from when I'm sharing this information because these assholes are full of shit and there ain't there's zero degrees of separation between all these people. They want to 
continue the Roman colonial program. And they got to sell you with fear and emotion and sell you some toys, technology and aliens and all that other shit that you've been manipulated to believe in and subconsciously uh, want and need and, and thirst for with Hollywood. It's all one big ass storyline. So if you watch this documentary, he's just going to prime you up and tell you something's big is going to happen and it's going to be relating to... A cosmic false flag where the aliens are going to come together and they're going to come and attack us. And then we're going to have a world government to do all this and so on and so forth. This ain't shit new. They've been talking about this for a long time. But it's starting to make a lot more sense now. Now that you have an implosion. One of the reasons why I'm making this video right now is because when you have an implosion. It's usually followed by a giant distraction. So the Pizzagate shit and the Trump stuff is all an implosion. Racism, all this shit that's going on, it's an implosion. Activated. Usually when that happens, a giant distraction is followed. So you create chaos. In that chaos, you have the people who manipulate the storyline, the so-called powers that be, that in that manip manipulating of that storyline, they can tell whatever story they want to the masses and you won't have anything else to do but believe in it so if you are in not in the know of any of this information then anything that gets so-called released by the government will be like a saving grace because they ain't been telling you shit other than Hillary and Trump for however many years that's how long it's been it's always been Hillary and Trump forever that's where all these presidential elections are it's been some bullshit Part one and bullshit part two. What do you want for the next four years? Oh, let's take some bullshit part one. Okay, good. Oh, eight years. Of, oh, okay, well, that's better than other bullshit part two. Then I don't want that. That's what the Republicans and Democrats are. A big time consuming time bandit manipulation program to remain to continue to uh, allow slaves to be thinking that the slave pro the slave masters give a shit about you. They don't. Assholes like Stephen Greer, I ain't no different. And I'm getting ready to show you right now how it connects to the Kesha Foundation and all this other stuff. For people who still believe in, in Kesha and all that other. There ain't zero, there's zero degrees of separation from, from these people. So I'm just going to go through it and relate how this alien spaceship program that has been linked in by the Kesha Foundation and its links to the Pizzagate stuff... There ain't, there ain't, there's no mistakes here. There's no coincidences when you see this and see that the Kesha Foundation is a spaceship program. Is so people talking about dealing with free energy and all that shit. This shit ain't new. It's been around. And people who believe in it, oh, well, this is a good company and a good foundation. And they've been doing good things. Shut the fuck up with all that shit. Please. This information has been hidden. People have been dying, starving. For how long? Because of the manipulated mind control program of fossil, pro fossil fuels, which is going straight into the evolution program, where they tell you that fossil fuels is from dead dinosaur bones melted into fucking oil, and then now we have oil we can put in our cars. It's a stupid ass storyline that they've been selling and it all protects itself. All of it. It's all one storyline. People talking about, oh, Kesha this and Kesha that. Man, fuck that shit. He, that, that, that program in the last video I was talking about building plasma, plasma, man. This is about focused energy. What you focus on and what you don't focus on. And I'm telling you right now. People already know this shit. These assholes don't give a shit about the indigenous people. Don't give a shit. And won't ever mention the colonial program. They won't ever mention your basic human needs. They won't ever mention the fiat currency system. They want to jump straight from this sick, diseased, Cancerous society, straight into technology, straight into free energy, straight into aliens in the space program and all this other bullshit. That is the okie doke.
that they're trying to manipulate. And it's been going on and on and on and on. And these channelers that have been selling you some limitation as baseline love and light information for however many years have has been a dumbing down program to keep you stagnant, to keep you focusing your energy and your your beliefs, your understand, keep you in a belief program instead of challenging you to understand your roots and your ancestral threads, your direct connection with spirit from the inside out. All this alien shit is from the outside in. Technology, separation from nature, all this bullshit is from an outside in perspective, externalized. If you go that way, you will remain in a mind control program. This is history repeating itself because the masses have always just said, okay, well, things are changing because they haven't done this before and then people have bought it. Ain't no different than the Civil Rights Act and all that other bullshit that happened back then. Racism didn't end, the colonial program didn't end, it just got more, it got tighter. It got more complex. They installed it into the public education system. They installed it into the police academy. They installed it into the military. They installed it into your cartoons, technology, television, the radio, computers, the internet. All this shit is a controlled environment. Period. End of fucking story. And these people saying that they're out there for you and all this other stuff. How the fuck you think he's going to... They're speaking on the mainstream media. They're speaking in reference to these storylines that challenge nothing. Nothing. The system itself is rotten, broken, cancerous, and it's maintaining that through the codependency of the masses upon this broken system. And the the... the, the Codependency of today is information because those who have the information have the so-called power. If you if you are in the know, then you can't be sold anything. If you are knowing how deep these programs go and how deep these roots go, if you know about the colonial program, if you know about Rome and how it never fell, if you know the connections to the Vatican and the government, you know the connections from the government to the secret space program, you know the connections from the secret space program and the government to ancient aliens and, and uh, th that mind control program and that manipulation of so-called history and what they're trying to make you not look at. If you know all that stuff, then anything that's coming out of those streams of thought can never be sold to you. You won't ever believe it because you don't need to believe anything. There's a knowingness and deep inside of you that comes from your intuition and from tapping into your general understanding of what's going on on the larger scale. On the, on the chess games of the soul, the mind, and the body. Not this little punk-ass checker game shit that they're manipulating with Trump and Hillary and Pizzagate and all this other stuff. That is the, that is the system imploding. And the most obvious bullshit, fucked up shit that's going on is going to be the obvious stuff that needs to implode. So yes, this pedophile stuff needs to go. And I'm not surprised at all. I'm happy that it's being revealed for what it is so people can realize that this is happening and stop this shit. But that doesn't mean that's the only storyline that exists overall. So if we don't challenge ourselves to look at all the storylines as best as we can, as much as possible, then we will fall subject to another trap, another agenda. So I'll end it with this, just pictures, just images of this connection and I'll expand upon it as much as I need to but I pretty much already shared my perspective on it and it's basically these figureheads that they put out in front of you so I wanted to share these figureheads that have that I've been aware of for a while now so you can see who's who's on the scene and who's part of this and who's connected to this Pizzagate stuff and the government and this whole storyline and, and how 
that Stephen Greer was talking about, a cosmic false flag. I wouldn't be surprised if they come about with all that stuff. Whatever it is, they're going to play whatever kind of storyline they want. But it don't really matter when you are in the know of the information so you can be, you know, be able to traverse whatever kind of storylines they throw at you and understand what's what's full of shit and what's leading into the next storyline. Because these people don't give one shit about you. This is basically the mainstream media. Ancient Aliens, TYT, Alex Jones, all them people. They exist in this Americana Forefathers Constitution mind control program that only means to protect itself. That is the so-called New World Order. The New World Order is a New Age Order. It's the, 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 the vibration of the word new. Why you need something new? You don't even know how the fucking pyramids were built. Why is that not being understood? It's not being understood because they need to install a new idea, so-called new program. And people are going to fall right for it because they're in this whole, oh, love and light and all this. Other. Oh, yes, the aliens and the Pleiadians and the Orion Arcturians and the Andromedans. This is my star family. I'm a star seed. I'm an indigo child. These are all mind control programs. Now, I'm not saying all this information isn't relevant in some kind of way because there were ancient cultures who were speaking about the vibratory, um, the vibratory sort of existence, the, the, the changing of vibrations within humanity, the shifting of consciousness within humanity over time. So this is why you have these kids that are being poisoned with these prescription drugs because they don't fit in the society. They're vibrating higher than the society itself. This is a shifting of consciousness that doesn't fit with this mind control program, this enslavement program. So they need to, they need to bring your vibrations down to a particular program. This new age program is one of those programs. It's just keeping you in, in, a, in a bubble. And that bubble is based upon somebody else telling you the story instead of you understanding the story from the inside out. So I just wanted to make this connection here. Stephen Greer on RT, a so-called ufologist. I first heard of Stephen Greer uh, in the 90s when he was releasing so-called releasing this information. He started gathering all these people together. To, from the, the FBI, CIA, the, the military, so-called releasing secret information about UFOs and aliens and all this shit. This was back in the 90s, and he's been talking and doing shit ever since. And he put together a documentary called Sirius, talking about the alien disclosure, so-called alien disclosure. And you can see all that, all whatever you want. It's all, it's all available on the internet. You can look for it yourself. But I just wanted to make the correlations between the individuals, the, 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 the mouthpieces that exist out there. So when you see him, this is what he's connected to. And there he is at the, the so-called Disclosure Project. This is what Hollywood's been priming you for. Disclosure Project, aliens, UFOs. UFOs is directly linked to technology. Secret space program technology is directly linked to selling you a new doggy biscuit. So you can shut your mouth and believe that we're in the future and things are changing. Because, because why? Because the government is revealing information. That maintains the power in them. They don't give a fuck about you. They are telling the story. So if we don't get ahead of the curve and realize... The, the, the entire book and stop getting caught up in these manipulated chapters. You know what I'm saying? So this is a clip from or a, a picture of a clip from that 90s um, video where he was having all these. All these people were like from insiders from the government, ex-colonels and FBI and retired this and retired that and. They're all, excuse me, they're all part of this. They're all part of this 
so-called disclosure project and it's only focused on technology the um, aliens ufos and so on and so forth and the reason why i'm coming from this if if this is your first video on my channel seeing and hearing this stuff from me uh i'm coming from the perspective of understanding that the globe model is full of shit nasa is full of shit cern is full of shit the university program is full of shit and I mean, that's where I'm coming from. And if you want to know more about why I feel that way, then look at some of the other videos or do your own research. But this is a colonial mind control program that's been going on for a long time. And it only means to expand itself. And this is how it ex it's expanding. So you got your, this is that actual documentary I was talking about, Sirius. Online and in theaters, 4-22-2013. He's making another another movie that's that he mentioned in, in that video that I was that I started the video on. He's just making more and more documentaries. Just another documentary talking about the same pretty much the same thing. So this is the Kesha Foundation guy. And Kesha the Kesha One Giant Leap. This is what the Kesha Foundation is. If you go in there, it's talking about oh peace and free energy and space and all this other shit. Gravity, anti-gravity, all this other stuff. This is selling you stuff. So yeah, solutions. Solutions. So they're giving you solutions. For what? For space technology, health, materials, energy, transportation, the environment, agriculture, nanotech, and ICT, whatever the fuck that I don't know. This is basically transhumanism it's the it's the so-called fluffy side of transhumanism transhumanism so you got the the dark side of transhumanism that's being shared in the so-called conspiracy theories and all this other stuff but they got to sell you a soft side just like the new age the new age you got the people talking about love and light and all this stuff and then on the other hand they're selling you transhumanism and and um this one world religion and one world government that's what all it's all one storyline it's just compartmentalized. So this Kesha Foundation shit ain't no different. It's about who's telling you this story. How they're telling you this story. And all of these programs believe in the globe model. They're still coming from a globe model perspective. Still ne ain't never talking about the colonial program, the indigenous people, or the any of the ancient alchemical relationships that the humanity has with spirit, the sun, and the moon. The earth, the elements, the ethers, they ain't talking none about that. They want you to focus on technology. Because technology can be sold to you. It's a it's wrapped up in a pretty little box with a fucking bow on it, and they can sell it to you. But they can't sell it to you if you already had access to it. This is why it's remained secret for so long. So they sell it to you with a bow on it, and the kicker is all this alien shit. That makes you extra believe in it. So you got people who are engaged only in the technology on the earth level. Then you got people who are engaged in the so-called stars and the aliens and the extraterrestrials and all that other shit. And the people in between the glue or the... the um, so Stephen Greer is like in the stars and the aliens and so-called and also an insider with the UFOs and the government. Then you got the Kesha Foundation was based upon like the down to earth stuff stuff that's going to relate directly to you this is why it's being revealed to you and the new age community is like the, the the lubrication in between both of those worlds so you got the people who are connected with only focus on the stars and the aliens like the Stephen greer and the ufos and all that shit and then you got the people who are focused on free energy and health and connecting with nature and 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 creating sustainable environments and all that shit the new age blumps all that shit together and the, it's the individuals caught up within that new age program that make this shit real with their belief systems and being stuck in that program and not seeing how all of these programs exist in a compartmentalized situation. Not to mention the fact that it's completely uprooted from your natural ancestral threads. And anchored within the idea of this post-Columbian colonial 
Technological Transhumanism Agenda. New Age Agenda. Then you have these assholes who are in between who are co-opting Tesla and all this shit. The same government that, that kicked Tesla shit to the side back in the day are the same people behind these individuals selling you this shit today. No different. So here you got David Wilcock and Stephen Greer shifting our paradigm. Great discussion. March 22nd. SeriousDisclosure.com So that connects you with the new age. Stephen Greer with the new age. Dr. Stephen Greer connected with David Wilcock. David Wilcock is connected with Corey Good. Corey Good is basically the, the headpiece for the so-called secret space program and all that other shit. So he activates that perspective. Then you have David Wilcock, who's connected to the ancient aliens perspective, who's which is just a fucking mind control program. It's just full of shit. And then you can see that's totally uprooted. And I mentioned in previous videos, ancient aliens exist to have you focus only on technology and anything that starts to go into the ancient and indigenous aboriginal technology and alchemy their connections with spirit and true science which is actual alchemy the balance the true science and and spirit that creates real alchemy anytime they start to go into that world they say oh well, the aliens there was must have been ancient aliens who gave us this technology that's what ancient aliens this is why ancient aliens exist the way it does to make you believe in the orchestrated storylines that are out there and this is the, he's one of the main figurehead, one of the main head pieces out there, and he's connected to all these other the, the other people like the channelers, like they have Cryon channeling at the United Nations. That's the United Nations link into the New Age, and then you have Leonardo DiCaprio, which is the so-called messenger for peace, linking Hollywood to the United Nations. The United Nations is linked to Kesha and Hollywood with Kesha talking about get your messengers for peace for your for your communities and have them share this information about the Kesha Foundation and the the, the, the the free energy shit that's out there. This is the orchestrated free energy movement and all this other shit. To, this is the doggy treat to sell you the new age order, the new world order. And if they... It wouldn't surprise me if they do pull some kind of like it was like he was saying in that video, a cosmic false flag or hoax or some shit like that in order to sell in whatever it is that they're trying to sell in. And then everything will be better when these these this the old cabal system and the old government system gets replaced with a new world, one world system. And that we connect with our star ancestors and we have this new technology and free energy to do all this other bullshit. You're still a slave. You're still trapped in that mind control program and they still remain in power. And all of these people are in on it. It's all one big ass storyline. So I just wanted to share this information to help. Uh, expand the storyline in relation to um, like the new age and all this other shit that's been existing because it's just he's so loud out there it's just obvious to me and um, if I can share this information to help people see what's going on and might trigger somebody else to do that too so yeah, if you want to add to this thread that I'm putting out there, go ahead and leave comments, like, share, whatever you like. Um, yeah, so thank you for joining me. And until next time, from all my relations. Wait, now I'm forgetting something. I know I'm forgetting something. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Wait. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. The uh, fourth in that Stephen Greer. This is how he's making it, making it real, real, like tied into what you believe in. So he mentions the Fourth Reich in here. He's like, we've been underneath the Fourth Reich since Germany and Hitler and all this other stuff. It just switched into the secret space program and our government and so on and so forth. This is how they validate themselves. So he mentions that and then UFOs. And then uh, the false flag I did mention, aliens. 
the new age is the new Rome. And, um, yeah. Oh, yeah, the, the video stuff with, um, linking in YouTube with all this, like, so the internet, the, the controlled, the controlled information or the controlled storylines of the internet as a whole, it's not surprising me that they would filter videos from being, um, shared and remove views. That's really fucked up. That's like a really big thing. That's a huge deal to have happening. That's some straight up... Yeah. It's some garbage. For them to remove views off a of video? And then you got these assholes, these YouTube sensations and all these other people celebrating all this other stuff. Millions of subscribers and millions of views. If they can remove views, better believe that they're adding views at the same time to project a particular storyline. This is a controlled environment and it's fucked up on so many levels because people believe in this stuff. We're really believing that, you know, it is the way it, it's pr promoted to us. It's not. Proof in that last video I just shared. YouTube slash Google don't give one fuck about you. It's this information is, it's so compartmentalized, people just get lost in the sauce. That's on purpose. It's meant to be. But once you start connecting the dots and connecting the threads, then that's when you start to challenge the entire system as a whole. And larger storylines start to be revealed for what they are. And there's no disconnection. There's no separation from YouTube and Google, the government, the FBI, the NSA, Facebook, Instagram, uh, the Secret Space Program, the New Age Agenda, all this stuff. They're promoting, like, all these New Agers out here. They promote that stuff. They promote channelers. They promote all the people who add to that program. Because it's easy. People, people escape. They need to escape from this fucked up storyline of what's happening on the streets what's happening in and to people what 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 their families are going through people need to escape that in order to believe themselves into a new reality and that's what that's what the new age is ex ex existing for it's it and being utilized to sell in like an individual just jumps into the new age because it's the only sort of positive energy that they have available to them and they've been living in a negative environment so-called negative environment for so long it's good and they keep people in that vibration but it's out of balance it's polarized because it's not linking in it's a limitation it's not linking in to the deeper roots if any roots at all it's floaty, it's head in the sky, head in the stars. Disconnected from any of the storylines that exist here. When that's your actual root system. And that's the intention. So, I'll leave it there. Um, but yeah, research and do keep going and add into this storyline because it's going to keep getting deeper as they release more information and we just start finding out stuff that we never even never even thought would exist so but it does thank you for joining me until next time from all my relations peace love and harmony